Carmel Valley Village is a little piece of heaven located just outside of Monterey. Fine wines, great food, and a step back in time. I love a good story, especially when it talks about wine. Russell's got a great story, not only about your vineyards, but the whole area. It's, yeah. it's kind of maintained a really nice growth. You know, Monterey, is, it, was, it was such a, a wonderful place to, to grow up, and I think that it almost came, you know, got looked past a little bit. You know, I grew up enjoying the ocean and enjoying fishing and scuba diving and surfing and all these great different things. But growing up on a vineyard here in Monterey really kind of showed me like, wow, Monterey really is a diverse place because I was able to do all these different activities and then to really kind of pursue and follow my true passion, which was winemaking. We just had uh, five wines rated um, in the Wine Enthusiast. Um, they're great, they're all the, the high 80s to 90s. This is a, a dry Riesling. Um, I think uh, typically you'll think of a lot of California domestic Rieslings as being, you know, uh, big and sweet and viscous and, and, and kind of sappy. The lovely summertime wine. This is our 2012 Gamay Noir Rosé, you know, kind of strawberry, rhubarb, you know, great acidity. Again, on the lower end of the spectrum alcohol, about 12.5% alcohol. Looks like we got some visitors here. <laughs> well, you don't see that every day at a wine <laughs> see that every day. room. Well, this is something that we, uh, we experience, uh, you know, daily here in Carmel Valley, you know, just kind of showcases the, the relaxed atmosphere that's out here. So what are we having now? I'm going to pour you some of the famous San Lucia Highlands Pinot. Um, so this was one of the wines that was just rated in, in the Wine Enthusiast. Um, um, a nice, delicate expression of Pinot, California Pinot Noir. You'll notice the pretty transparency. You know, I love Pinot. this. I can see why this one's an award winner. I love your wines, but I think it's time to pair it with some food. And you, can, you mentioned some good food around here. Yes. What do you recommend? First on my list would be Cafe Rustica. Doesn't get more local than this. When the locals recommend it, you know it's got to be good. Russell here recommended it. Terry recommended it. A lot of other friends have told us you've got to come to Cafe Rustica. Julian, thanks for having us, first of all. Thank you. What makes this place special? Uh, this place is special uh, because we make everything uh, from scratch and uh, with uh, fresh and local produce. And uh, every day we try to keep it uh, consistent and uh, real good food, not too heavy, and uh, so people can enjoy it every day. That's great. Well, I don't even know where to start on this table right now. What are we looking at? Well, you can try with the eggplant Napoleon. Uh, that's the classic. We do have the escargot or the clams. It's always a nice appetizer. Good. Uh, the special tonight is a fresh petroli sole. It's pan sauteed with a kefir mushroom beurre blanc. Uh, the pasta rustica is also very good because uh, it's a lot of uh, fresh uh, vegetables, grilled uh, eggplant. So Russell, you've been here many times, obviously. Many, many times. What's the experience like for you? Uh, most importantly to me is, is that we're gonna get great food and it's gonna be great every time. It's not one of those spots that you go to experience the food and it's uh, you know hit or miss. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's mediocre. Every time it's the best. And that's, and that's what I truly love about the place, is it's always the best. We've got a really special part of the world here that you don't see around anymore. Yeah, yeah it's almost like taking a step back in time, you know, like we chatted about earlier. And, you know, with the wine and, and, and food like this, I mean, you just can't go wrong. You can. Yeah. Cheers. Right. Cheers.